Section 125, also referred to as the cafeteria plan. Section 125 is part of the Internal Revenue Code that favors the employee when they purchase insurance through payroll deduction. Our goal is to concisely explain the benefits of the code for the employee and the employer. The employer and the employee both benefit from the code through tax savings. The employer who provides insurance products through payroll deduction and does not pay 100% of the premium should have a 125 plan. Section 125 of the IRS Code simply authorizes a one-year agreement between the employer and the employee. The employee authorizes the employer to reduce their pay by the exact cost of the desired insurance benefit. The employer then pays a premium for the employee. This amount qualifies as employee expense. This expense is written off by the employer. This exempts both parties from payroll tax. This type of agreement is called a premium-only plan, often referred to as POP. Let's view an example of a group health plan without a 125 provision. This example is for an employee with dependents. The case assumes a cost of insurance of $300 per month for the employee and $600 additional dollars for dependents. The employer is paying half the employee's cost and none of the dependent cost. The employee's portion is $750 per month for the entire family. This amount is subtracted from their net earnings. The average federal income tax is 15% and all employees are required to pay 7.65% of income for Social Security and Medicare called FICA. The national average is 22.65%. At this rate the employee must gross $970 to pay an after-tax expense of $750. Let's view the same benefit with and without tax savings. This example illustrates the employee with a gross income of $2,400 per month. Using the national average tax of 22.65%, the left column illustrates the previous example and illustrates the 22.65% tax. This amount of $543 is deducted and sent to Uncle Sam. The net income of $1,856.40 is reduced by $750, leaving the actual take-home pay of $1,106.40. Please examine the column to the right. This illustrates the agreement, the gross pay is reduced by $750. Gross income is now $1,650, subject to payroll taxes at the same 22.65% rate. The taxes are reduced and the benefit has been paid. You quickly see the monetary benefit to the employee. Their take home pay has increased $169.88. This example assumes $13,000 in premium for the entire group insurance plan, $10,000 for the employees and $3,000 for the dependents. The employer is paying 50% of the employee and zero for the dependent. The employee portion is $5,000 plus $3,000 and both are exempt from the 7.65% employer match for the FICA. The result is reduced FICA tax savings of $582 a month or $6,984 annually for the employer. Compliance and regulation of the plan is not expensive. Drafting an ERISA document, a one-time fee can be done for about $150. Administration for the plan, annual fees are about $200. Regulations mandate a one-year signed agreement by the employee stating that they understand they cannot opt out of the plan unless there is a change in their status. These examples are listed below. In summary, the employer who offers payroll deducted employee insurance benefits and does not pay 100% of the premium should have a premium only plan or a POP plan. Money saving benefits received by the employee and the employer outweigh any administration costs. Please note the employers who own 2% or more of the company cannot participate. If you're a C corporation, check with your accounting department. This presentation only addresses the premium only plan and does not consider the FSA. The FSA affords additional benefits and doesn't increase administration costs.